to a school and you get accepted early decision, you must go to that school. You sign a contract basically when you apply that says you must, must, must go to that school. Okay? Um, so that's the thing. You apply early decision, it's fine as long as you know you want to go there. Have to be this school for your decision. And that's what? You came up by next year, right? Yeah. Okay. For 12th grade. Yeah. 12th grade. This is October of 12th grade. For the early applications. Um, the one thing I was told, I don't know if this is necessarily true, it's sort of a myth, but the one thing I was told about applying early decision is that with early action, you can still bargain. So for example, I got into Yale and I got into Harvard and I had early action. So I got my financial package from Harvard and I said to Yale, look, Harvard's giving me this much money. If you give me this much money, then I might come to your school. And then Yale raised my financial aid. If you have early decision, you can't do that because you take what they give you, you have to go. So for me, it was better to apply early action because I could then bargain. You know, um, and schools, if they want you bad enough, they'll they'll they'll, they'll match that. They're tricky. they're tricky, and they don't like to be told that Harvard's better than Yale or Yale's better than Harvard. They want to say, no, no, we're the same, we're just as good. So they like to match each other. Um, so that's what happened for me. I ended up choosing Harvard anyway, but Yale did match Harvard's offer. Okay, so for financial aid, you can do that. So that's why early action might be better than early. Decision. But this is also if they want to apply early. They don't have to. They can apply regular like everybody else. Um, and that's in January. All the applications are due, I think, December 31st, so January 1st. Um, try to get them in earlier than that, obviously. What is the difference between apply early and apply like regular? So early, you can only apply to one. Mm -hmm. You have to choose which one you want to apply early, even for early action or early decision. You can only apply to one. Mm -hmm. If they find out you're doing more than one, both of them are canceled. Mm -hmm. You have to choose one. So that's the first thing about it. Um, and the second thing is you find out sooner. Oh, so, okay. okay. Right, so I applied, I applied early to Yale. Mm -hmm. I got in early to Yale, which was wonderful. So I got in November and I was very excited. Um, and I took all my applications and I ripped them in half. Because oh, okay. I wasn't going to send them anymore. Okay. You know, I knew I got into Yale. I said, why am I going to apply to 16 schools? I don't need to do that anymore. I already know I got into one school. So I only applied to two more schools. Okay. So this is another advantage. You spend less money. Okay. <laughs> if you get into a school early, you will spend less money on regular applications. Okay. So in total, I only applied to three schools. Whereas you were at Tim's list, he applied to like a lot more schools than if he got into six, but he probably applied to like 10 or 12. I applied to three <laughs> because I got in early. So that's a huge advantage of applying. But you have to be ready to apply early. So you, if you want to apply early, you have to start in the summer. You have to start in the summer. So that's something you like. You should start writing your essay now. You should get edits on that essay. You should start the common application. You should look at the secondary applications. Um, so the secondary applications sometimes will ask for another essay. Sometimes they'll ask for why do you want to go to this school. I think NYU, for example, they ask for if you sang a song at a talent show, what would you sing and why? So they ask sometimes weird questions. You have to come up with good creative answers to. Um, things like that. Like I said, Yale asked me, what do you do when you're stressed me? What do you do for fun? Things like that. College asks a different question on their secondary application. And that's after you finish the common app, which we went over. Are there any questions? So I can erase this, but these are sample exams. Slide here. Okay. So these are sample exams. This is a sample subject SAT test, so I'm going to pass this around. Um, this is, yeah, SAT subject test. This gives you an idea of all the different subject tests. You can look through it. It gives you math level one and two, what they're about. <coughs> sample questions from math one and two. Um, I think they have a sample exam here. Or just sample questions. Yeah, sample questions. German is on this, Hebrew. Yeah, these are all different languages. So if you look through this, you can see the different subject tests, see what your child might be interested in taking. I'll pass these two around. <coughs> I think this is just SAT. Yeah. And this one is a sample SAT. So this is the exam that you're supposed to be taking if they're in 